There's one more thing I could talk about just really quickly, just to oh, put yeah. out there and start a discussion. We don't have oh. to spend a lot of time on it if you don't want oh. to, but it's it's worth covering, I guess. Hit me, Big Daddy. Want. So uh, <laughs> the Gateway Foundation had a new mm-hmm. video and a rebranding this last week. Uh, so the Gateway Foundation, they want to build rotating space stations in space, you know, because okay. space... Instead of on Earth. Rotating space stations Good. Right. in Texas. So they renamed it the Voyager Station. It was the Von Braun Station mm. after Werner Von Braun, one of the you know head guys at NASA back in the Apollo days and everything. Um, I think naming it after a former Nazi became problematic <laughs> is probably why they changed it. Um, mm. th- there is a bit of a toxicity around Von Braun's name because he was a Nazi. Which is too bad. And... He kind of got away with not having to, you know, he didn't get shuffled off to Nuremberg or anything. He was given a nice cushy job and we took advantage of what he knew how to do, which was build rockets that once killed people and then got people to the moon. But anyway, so um, that's that's not the whole point of all this. But this is a pretty cool <laughs> little video. It's that, about though. 30 minutes long that they put out. Um, wow. It's titled SpaceX Starship at Voyager Station, but it's not really about the Starship that much. It's basically showing how they want to go about building this thing and it's actually pretty neat they've got these little probes that um i forget what they call this but it's basically the point of this is to find debris because we're gonna be doing if you build this thing um a lot of space construction and there's a lot of chances for little pieces of space debris to float away uh they talk about how you know when uh astronauts are up there doing the the work that like if something is an inch away from your hand it is gone forever Right. You know, mm-hmm. it just floats away and there's no there's no retrieving it. But <laughs> if uh, if you have little probes like this that have, uh, you know, the little thrusters on it and cameras and stuff, it can track all these pieces of debris, go out and catch them. They're developing these robots that can kind of travel around the um, the ship to build stuff. So it's all about heavy construction in space, um, which is pretty interesting. Um, this awesome. is the kind of thing, honestly, that Blue Origin is talking about, you know, moving right. heavy industry up into space. Um, but mm. I just, I wanted to bring this up because, I mean, these are the kinds of things that we're, we're talking about future wise. And, um, they want to do these rotating habitats. I got to turn this thing. Uh, the, the sound Man, is messing me up. Always spooks um, me out. they want to build rotating habitats to spooky. provide gravity, some kind of artificial gravity. Oh, here's yeah. Footage here's of the starship. the starship docking with it. Um, Sorry for all those who are just listening, but it's kind of cool what they got going on right there. They've got a rotating center core yeah. that stops rotating so that, see, the middle core is like stationary. Right. So right, that you right. can dock with it, and then it kind of speeds up as you after you dock. Hmm. Can you imagine, like, going from zero G to all of a sudden getting kind of cling to the wall, and the further out you get, the greater gravity would Oh, yeah, mo- moving out along those... Those the, lateral radial yeah. lines, yeah, as the gravity like kicks in as you go up there, <laughs> yeah, increases every every that's, rung basically. That's the uh, the Daniel Suarez Delta V book where I think someone dies because they're doing that. They're like going from one side, one pod to another pod, and a thing like this, and they are in zero g and forget to grab, and as they get down, they did weren't holding on to anything, and all of a sudden they just accelerate and fall down and like hit their head on a ladder or something like that <laughs> well Weird. um we can put this video in the in the description the, the link to it or put a That's card up cool. there or anything it's it's actually pretty neat they they've they've really broken down the the process that they want to do uh that, to, that they're going to use to build this by you know like you can see kind of putting spokes together and and then adding wow. modules to live on Looks it's, like it's a big just kind of neat wheel. to see that they've thought it through this 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 much right right it's getting pretty legitimate looking that is really exciting. I, I definitely want stuff like this in our in our lifetime. Oh, mm-hmm. there. I was going to say some of the criticisms I've seen for um, for their stations have been lack of solar because it takes a lot of solar and a lot yeah. of radiation yeah. uh, or radiator. Sorry, not radiation, but radiators to radiate away the heat. Um, there's a that's why there's such big panels on the ISS for for rate for radiate heat away and, you know, solar. Yeah. So that looks more like it. That's cool. Yeah. Well, that's that's awesome. I'll have I mean, to watch I the whole thing. Share it. See what you guys thought. That's really cool. Good for them. 
I'll go but they've on. They've got all these little, like little skate pods. Uh, little, can you see them around the edge? It almost looks like a coronavirus, doesn't it? Um, but it's got <laughs> these little like Sierra Nevada. Yeah. Um, dream chasers. X thirty whatever dream chasers. No, they're, Thank they're you. dream chasers. The X thirty seven is a Boeing. Sorry, and uh, whatever you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Space stuff. Come on. That's super cool. Oh, anyway, I thought I would share that. I thought right. that was interesting. Well, that's some good news. I always yeah. like when people start making cool concepts and they start fleshing out a little bit more and looking more and more well thought out. Now how they're going to fund all that. I'm not exactly (laughs) sure. Hey, thanks for checking us out guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe to our ludicrous future where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.